Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be taking a look at a couple of the new Jurassic World Epic Evolution figures. Both of them being of the crocodilian uh, descent. First we have Capro Suchus right here, and then we have Grippo Suchus right here. So quick look at Capro Suchus in the package, Epic Evolution. Jaw snapping action, just look at those teeth. And that stubby little tail. Flip it around here. And a look at that action feature. Boom. And then of course, we got a biome going on here. And that is the river biome right there. Boom. So quick look at that. And quick look at Gripple Suchus right here. Love the thin snout. Absolutely love what Mattel has started doing with the teeth on these Epic Evolution figures. They're soft and rubbery. Also a river biome. And that is why today we are filming by the river. Boom, you got the Jurassic logo there. Jurassic World. Flip it around. And you got that action feature. This one does make uh, sound and has a chomping action. So, that being said, let's unbox them and take a closer look. Okay, so here is a look at both of these bad boys out of the package. Um, unfortunately, I do have a few issues with both figures and I will go over that. Um, let's start with um, Capro Suchus here. Um, I love the face and I love the interlocking teeth. Um, uh, my biggest issues with this figure is the tail looks a little weird to me. They made it kind of short and stubby and it looks kind of cut off at the end. It doesn't really go down into a point. It's not really thin enough or long enough um so it just kind of looks stumpy and weird so i guess i will be calling this guy stumpy hey stumpy um so right here we actually have the data scan code which i will go ahead and give you guys and then that brings me to my second issue with the figure and that is just how much this scan code sticks out like a sore thumb they put it long ways right here on the back and it just totally just stands out um which isn't great and then my third issue with this guy is his action feature that makes him chomp and that is you push down on his front legs and we've seen this before on some figures and it's just not a great feature the legs can sometimes tend to break and i would have preferred a button back here because it's also going to make it hard for filming because I'm going to have to film him like this if I don't want to get my hand in the scene. So that's about my only issues with this guy. Otherwise, this thing is super cool and um, really reminds me of one of the dinosaurs that we got to see in um, the movie 65. And it also kind of reminds me of Lizzie from Rampage and another gator type critter that we saw at the golf course in the movie Evolution. Um, so if you guys know what movies I'm talking about, then you know, you probably know which animals I'm referring to. Um, but yeah, super cool. This is one that has been really hard to track down. I've been wanting this for a long time and up until recently, it's only been available on Amazon and it was even reaching upward prices of $35 on Amazon. And I really was hoping I wasn't going to have to pay that much, but was almost ready to pull the trigger on it when I actually finally found this guy at my local Walmart. So super happy. I hope I find at least one or two more of these. I tried looking. This was the only one they had when I got it. So um, finally, finally got to add him to my collection. I've been wanting him for a while now. So with that being said, let's move right on to the next one. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at Gyro Suchus. Gyro, Gyro Suchus. Gyro gyro suchus um i'm not exactly sure how you say the name gyro suchus i think Gy gyro suchus 
is how I think this is pronounced. Um, really no issues with this figure. I love the tail on this. It has the epic evolution wheel for the chopping action. As I was saying, I love the teeth and the elongated snout. Um, we also have the scan code for you guys right there. So not too bad on this figure. My only issues, my only gripes with this figure, <coughs> oh, excuse me, is uh, the jaw's a little bit off. If you notice, it's kind of crooked a little bit. It feels like it should be more like that. But when you just leave it alone, it kind of interlocked right there right now. Uh, but yeah, see, and then it tends to go a little bit to the side, giving him a little bit of a crooked jaw. And then something that I didn't really notice at the time when I got him was the eye print is a little too far forward. It's not right on the eyeball like it should be. So I haven't decided if this is something that I can just live with because it's not too terribly bad, but it is kind of annoying. So I may end up taking this back to Target and trying to trade it out for a more perfect one. I haven't decided, like I said, it's not too awfully bad. Um, I might be able just to live with it. I haven't really decided yet, but I may end up be doing a, a swap. But uh, I love the colors on Mattel, and it looks like Mattel is finally getting to start adding uh, paint apps onto the tail. They're beginning to. So that is super cool and really nice to see. I love the curved tail, and I just love how uh, crocodilian this thing is this is going to go great with the few of the other uh crocodilian species that we've gotten from mattel uh, i really like to see them dive in to this type of species it's really nice to be seeing some because for the longest time we only had one crocodilian figure and then they released the uh the small pot of such as and uh that's been pretty much it until recently it seems like Mattel has really just dove in and started giving us more of these crocodilians. So that's awesome. Good job there, Mattel. Had to critique a few of the issues I did have with these figures, though, unfortunately. So anyway, guys, it is what it is. You know, like I said, if I'm too unhappy with those eyes, I will end up doing an exchange uh, if I decide I can live with it. Which, looking at it right here, um, I'm still undecided. I I'm really might just end up living with this because it's not too awfully bad, but... I still don't like it, so it might end up bugging me enough. We'll see. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. As always, we'll see you in the next video. Fishbricks85, you know what it is. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.